Okay, today we're going to learn how to run a flagged report for the shop. So one of the things you're going to go to when you log on, you'll get your dashboard here and you'll go to reports. Once you open up report, you'll see your technician time report flag date. You'll click on that. And what you do, you can run it month to date, you can run it by day, you can pick and choose, you can run last month, whatever you want to do. But to be able to do that, you just open this up, like for example, I'm going to run it from, I'm just going to run the 5th. So I go 11.5, go back in here, I'll hit 11.5. Then i got to pick the technicians who I want to look at. So everybody's in here, so what you do is you page down until you find the technicians you're looking for, the many, how many you have. So right here, in my case here, I'm going to start at 5.02. I'm going to put a 1 in front of the technicians that I want to look at. So go lay down the bottom just like this. Go to 611. I don't want these texts, so then I just won't put a one there. I'll continue on. Go to the next page. I've got these technicians left here. Then I hit enter. You can see here where it says list. So I've got a list of technicians. I don't want it detailed. You can look at it many different ways. The way I look at it for a quick snapshot is I just uncheck this and I go a summary just so I get a summary report. Keep everything the same. If I'm running a flag report, I put F here for flag. A couple different options I can do. I can actually email this to myself. In this one here, there's not an email, but there's a PDF or there's a text, whatever you choose to do. What I choose to do is I click here and put Q print, which just goes into a queue so you can view the reports. Once you got there, you hit OK. And then what will happen will come back to this screen here. So then what I'll do is I'll hit exit. I'll go to my system tools, that's where all my reports go to. It says Q print document, you collect that. And if you got a bunch in here, your, your latest report will be on the bottom. So I only got one report in here. I put five to view, I hit enter, and there's my report. So here's a technician total hours. So to get down to the bottom, I just keep hitting page down, and it'll tell me. So for this date range, I flagged 133.68 hours. Now to get out of that, I just go back. Now if I want to clean my queue, I just go here, I'll hit 4 to get it out of my queue, hit enter, hit enter. Now there's no documents in there. That's an option if you want to keep them and keep them. I like to keep it clean. And you go back, you hit back again. Now if you want to run a different report, you do the same thing. So let's say I want to write a close date report. I'll hit closed. Again, I want to run it for the 5th. I'll hit on the 5, I pick my technicians, put a 1 in front of them, I'll hit enter, it shows that I got a list, I can look at detailed if I want to, I choose not to, I unhook Check that. I hit summary. Now I'm running a sold report, so I'll just leave that the same. And I'll hit Q print, hit enter. I'm going to go exit. I'm going to hit system tools. Then I'm going to hit Q print. And then for me to display it, it's number five for display. Hit enter. And there's all my text. So it gives me right here, it tells me the date range that I did it. And it's my closed hours. So at the bottom here, it tells me that I on closed repair orders, it was 114. Now to get out of that, I just hit exit. I can clear that out with a 4, which deletes that report. I can hit exit again. If I want to look at run any other reports, I can just pick my reports in this list, and you can run it in your queue print. You do have options to email it to yourself, whether you want to do an Excel spreadsheet or something along that line. That's how you run a flag report.